Peng in Beijing, China, writes to me and he says, Hey Paul, I'm an audiophile from Beijing. Nice to see you. Or virtually meet you anyway. Uh, and I'm also a huge fan of PS Audio products and Octave Records. Why, thank you, sir. Over 90% of my music collections are downloaded DSD files. For the past several years, I've been purchasing DSD music via Native DSD, Blue Coast Records, and of course, my favorite, Octave Records. As of today, I've built quite a collection of authentic DSD music files. My question is, what resolution should I choose to get the most of the DVD uh, or the DSD file? Every time I purchase a DSD record, I choose the resolution that the record was originally recorded to, even though higher resolutions are also available. If a record is originally recorded at DSD 64, that's single rate, and mixed at DSD 128 or even 256, is the mixed version with higher resolution sonically better than the original DSD? Well, <clears throat> I guess there's a lot of opinions on that. And it's complicated because every time you change sample rates, the DAC that you're playing it back on is going to respond differently. And this is a problem that we used to run into a lot before DACs became more modern. And that is, people would say, well, if you upsample a 44.1 CD, there's no more information, so why does it sound better? And the answer for many years was because the DAC sounds better, because the DAC is not using the hard brick wall filter that it needed to get the 44.1 CD. The DAC, if you run it at 176, has a very gentle filter, and so the DAC sounds very different. I think people kind of forget that everything we hear in digital audio at the end of the day has gone through an A to D and a D to A, digital to audio, con uh, uh, digital to, to analog converter. And we tend to kind of ignore the fact that those have a sound to them. There's there's good DACs and bad DACs and great DACs, and they all have a sound to them. So it isn't just so clean to say this way or that way. But in general, an upsampled or oversampled original probably isn't going to sound any better and shouldn't sound any better than a single rate DSD. So if, if we record in single rate DSD, then coming out with an upsampled version of that, unless we went to analog, and I'll explain that in a sec, is probably a waste of your money if you're paying more for it because there is no more information there. You can't take an upsample, a DSD 64 to a 128. Well, you can, but you're not accomplishing anything other than what we just talked about. There is a caveat to that. So DSD, um, I forgot, uh, native DSD and Blue Coast, as well as Octave for now, but we're changing, but for now, we all mix in analog. So when you take a DSD 64 file, single rate DSD, and you record on it, that's great. There's nothing better than the recording at at DSD 64, nothing better, well, except DSD 128 <laughs> or 256, but DSD is the very best. Okay. When we mix it, we convert it to analog. Cookie does the same thing at Blue Coast. I don't know the people over there, but I know that uh, uh, native DSD, they do the same thing. I'm pretty sure. I know Cookie does at Blue Coast. So then you're converting from analog back to DSD, at that point, sure, that point, if you do a 256, it's going to be better than a single rate or a, a, a double rate. So find out what it is we're dealing with. But if it's going from an original DSD, not any mixing going on, you're just upsampling, then it's not worth it. Okay? Hope that's not too convoluted. <laughs> Thanks for asking. Take it easy. Bye. Bye.